Probably oh. is. I'll put my, should I put my dark glasses on? I'm not sure I've got like... <laughs> Very fabulous. No, you look beautiful. And uh, actually, one of the reasons that I want to do this is because my readers are, um, you know, in their 20s and 30s and they've mm. grown up watching you and they would like to know if you could go back in time and give yourself a piece of advice, uh, beauty, mm -hmm. fashion, or life in your 20s and 30s, what would you tell yourself? Just always be true to yourself. Yeah. I have tried, <laughs> and I still continue <laughs> to try that every day. Um, and when I have been, that's brought me the most happiness. It's mm -hmm. made me the most comfortable. It's made me feel um, the most um, powerful. Yes. Uh, and it's, it's really it's really been a great way to operate. Uh, times when I wasn't always true to myself for whatever reason, and you know, you can read all about it in the book that's coming out <laughs> next year. I will. Um, it, it was harder. You know, it, yeah. it's very hard to uh, to play a role 24-7. You know, yes. you really have to be who you are at the end of the day. And I've just got a few more little questions. Uh -huh. um, what it would be your favorite book, movie, or uh, record? Oh, I know, this is too hard. Oh, that, that's too hard. But you know what? I'll say Twist and Shout by the Beatles. Because okay. that was the first album that I ever bought. Yeah. So go figure. That must have been like 1964 or something. <laughs> I think I was 12 years old. Um, yeah, you know, if, if you've ever seen that iconic vision of the, they're all jumping up and down yeah. on a building. And I say that because I was in Paris a couple of weeks ago and was treated to a wonderful... Uh, kind of impromptu a session with Sean Lennon and oh, Irina wow. Lazaranu, you know, great Montreal yes, model. Yes, of course. Um, and uh, Sean's girlfriend, uh, Charlotte yeah. Kempmule, the model, and uh, they were singing Twist and Shout. And I saw Sean that Lennon must have been amazing. singing Twist and Shout, and it was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's who, that's who I am. That must have been outside. wonderful. I wish we should all get to listen to that. I'd love to hear <laughs> him do it. Um, do you have a secret guilty pleasure you're willing to share? Um... Food well, I don't know. Or... Secret guilty pleasure. I mean, a guilty pleasure is you know is spending too much money on shoes. Yes. <laughs> so I sort of do that. And a secret, lot. I, I guess we don't need to know your yeah. secrets, but, uh, <laughs> but something that people might not know about you. But so shoes would be your guilty pleasure. Well, yeah, I think shoes are probably most women's <laughs> guilty pleasure yeah. these days. Um, best meal you ever had? Oh, oh boy. Oh. Uh, you know, I'd probably say, you know, a cheese fondue uh, mm -hmm. on a mountain top in Zermatt Ooh. You know, back in uh, the mid-80s. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> if you could have two weeks, this is the last one, if you could go for two weeks anywhere in the world, uh, where would you go for a holiday? To my farmhouse. Yeah. Yeah. I don't get to spend enough time there. I have a really beautiful farmhouse uh, east of Toronto. It's uh, you know, an old stone house that was built in 1842 oh, wow. in the middle of 123 acres. And it feels like a little bit of Provence. Quiet. I think uh, I would yeah. just want to cozy up there for a good couple of weeks. So simple and elegant, like your, like your clothes. Yeah. And like I your... mean, I have enough of the glamour and the excitement yeah. in my, you know, uh, my, my real life, <laughs> yeah. too. I mean... That's a part of me that, uh, you know, it, it is very real, but I don't often get a chance to, you know, cuddle up with it uh, too often. Well, thank you very much. I'm